Welcome to the 2015 Annual Report and State of the County Address. With a new year, a new Board of County Commissioners, and new priorities to focus on, this presentation will show how we are using our assets to continue to move Washington County forward. The first asset that will help move our county forward is our continued efficient and effective way of operating government. Over the past four years, we have increased our bond rating, increased our reserves, decreased our non-public safety employee base, and are operating with millions less than in previous years. In the economic development realm, we've taken many steps to try to attract and retain businesses and show them how important they are to us. During economic development week this year, we launched a program called Washington County Loves My Business. It was a program which allowed the county to express its appreciation to our companies for the employment that they provide to our citizens. And we sent out 7,000 window prints. We asked the companies to display it in their front window because the prize patrol would be going on a hunt for those window clings. And the winners were presented with surprises and a personal expression of appreciation for doing business in, in Washington County. As part of our retention and expansion program here in the county, we conduct a company visitation program. And what we do is bring together representatives from our Economic Development Commission, the County Commissioners, the Chamber of Commerce, Greater Hagerstown Committee, the City of Hagerstown. We ask them a series of questions about how they're doing here in Washington County. And we, we identify issues that they're facing and the obstacles to their business operations. We work hard to resolve those obstacles. And we also take uh, those issues which are appropriate to our local uh, legislators to address. The county's business and economic development progress has helped our existing business expand and add jobs. The county will continue to support changes in state and local permitting processes to provide a more streamlined, user-friendly regulatory process. We certainly have a team that is committed to supporting our businesses and supporting new businesses uh, that may want to come into Washington County. We have our project liaison that uh, does nothing but support uh, businesses in their journey through our permitting process. Uh, we certainly are looking at ways to make that easier and changing uh, the process. We know our commissioners certainly support anything we can do to make this easier and also permits that go through us to the state level. How can we bring that home uh, to make that an easier process and much more uh, expedient so that businesses can get through that process? What we've heard back from our customers is that They'd like for simple permit applications like a deck or, or something very simple like maybe a shed that's over 200 square feet. They'd like to see the, have the ability to come in one day, turn around a quick permit on, on a very simple application. And we're excited about being able to provide a service that gets them in and out without um, going through several weeks of, of permitting application. The other thing that's really exciting is scheduling we're going to begin to offer a schedule service if uh, one would like to schedule a permit application in advance. They'll be able to do so either online or via the phone. We're about to launch in 2015 uh, a new program, and this is a program targeted at our budding entrepreneurs. It's aimed at the pre-startup phase of the, the business cycle, and this is really, this is really the idea stage. We want to find those folks out there that are tinkering in their garages, making a product, or they're sitting at their kitchen table and they're, they're thinking about a, a service that they may be able to provide. Another noteworthy accomplishment in the financial realm was our upgrade by a rating agency on Wall Street to AA+. Uh, that's significant in that it shows that we've managed our finances in a way that we've contained our operating expenses, our borrowing has been at reasonable levels, and that we've used the resources that the county currently has to maximize efficiency so that the impact of the economic downturn didn't impact us as much as others that had a less defined management strategy. 
That tells us that our county is it's financially sound, it's fiscally well managed. And businesses need a sound, stable financial environment in order to operate. Robinwood construction progress has moved along even despite the winter winter weather to a large degree. A uh, lot of underground utility work that had to occur. Uh, that's with uh, everything from telephone line to uh, water line, sewer line, gas line most recently. And the incredible rock in Washington County has been really a, uh, an opposing factor in uh, a lot of our progress. The Yale Drive project just kicked off late this fall. Right now there's not a great deal of activity because of the winter weather. Um, it's either frozen or very soggy and muddy and slimy out there. But this spring, we'll begin a lot of excavation. The sediment erosion pond and the large regional pond that was designed for future uh, improvements out there. What it'll do for local traffic is get them uh, off of a large part of the dual highway Ultimately, when both roads are built and the bridge over the Antietam is built, that'll help with emergency response times, health and safety issues, as well as the student population traveling to and from HCC. The County Administrator and County Commissioners have done a, a wonderful job with the vision to see coordination of engineering and construction management and how the staff of the various departments can work together and serve one another to help serve the customer best. And one of the exciting things that happened this year was uh, Ryder Jet Center opened up a new 30,000 square foot two-story uh, fixed base operation. And the fixed base operation at the airport is, is basically uh, figured as a, as a gateway to the airport and Washington County. The other businesses that we have on the airfield, uh, we've been working with them in the past year, uh, getting them together uh, to do a business before hours as we've titled it. Uh, to get together just to see what one business could do to support the other and vice versa. For the fall of 2014, we were contacted by Allegiant um, that they were interested in establishing a new service from Hagerstown down to Clearwater St. Pete Airport. We are getting that operation up and running and, and starting February 27th, we have our first flight down to Clearwater St. Pete. So we'll be operating uh, in addition to the uh, Sanford Orlando flights, uh, these flights will switch over to Thursdays and Sundays and we will be operating the uh, Clearwater St. Pete flights on Mondays and Fridays. So uh, that just provides another avenue of travel to the Florida area for, for the citizens of the Quad State area. And uh, we're very happy to make that happen. The county's focus on the environment and cutting edge projects will help move the county forward. In future years, the county will be self-sufficient with many of its energy costs. Renewable energy and green initiatives have certainly been one of the things that we've been focused on. Currently we have a solar farm that's under construction at our landfill at 40 West. Washington County government entered into a public-private partnership with EPG Solar. They will be providing solar fields on up to 130 acres of property on the closed landfill and current landfill sites in the county. Uh, that is a 25 meg solar farm that will generate all the power required to be used by Washington County government on our site with a renewable source. We're one of the first in the country to be able to say that. The project will bring in a revenue of about $300,000 in rent and lease, and we will see approximately $100,000 a year in reduced electric costs through the purchase power agreement. We also have another project that is uh, a renewable energy project that will take the trash that comes into our solid waste facility and actually convert that to a gas that is then synthesized into transportation fuels such as diesel fuel. Uh, we're excited about that project. This is one of the first of its kind at a smaller scale uh, in the country and we'll be able to use the revenue from that to help offset general fund contributions that are currently in closed sites and we'll also be able to use this process to approach 100% recycling for all the material that comes into the landfill. In addition, anything that's been currently 
buried in our landfill, we'll be able to start mining and recapture the recyclables that uh, we didn't have an opportunity to capture in the first place. So we'll be able to really use this as a green initiative that shows that Washington County cares about the environment and that we're taking steps to be a leader in the field for recyclable energy. The Weinbrenner Wastewater Treatment Facility is a 600,000 gallon per day facility, which in the state of Maryland makes it a major wastewater treatment facility. In order to meet the bay restoration goals and TMDL requirements for the bay, all major wastewater treatment plants in the state of Maryland are required to upgrade to enhance nutrient removal technology. The county's support for emergency services has allowed us to fund phase one of the fire plan, which is $825,000. We also continue to evaluate additional needs in the Emergency Medical Services Staffing Agreement and for volunteer companies. We have a very dedicated group of volunteers that are highly functioning and with our fire plan that began in our last budget cycle, we have been able to continue to fund those efforts through a new mechanism, uh, not only funding for paid volunteers, but uh, fuel expenses for first two response units. Uh, several things that the volunteers have said they needed support in to continue to be an effective part of Washington County Emergency Services. As we approach an overall commitment to emergency services in the neighborhood of $10 million, uh, the county recognizes that this is one of the areas that uh, is very important and that we must continue to focus on so that our service providers have the support that's necessary so that we can protect our citizens and provide adequate service as we move forward. We just recently completed the tower site in South County. That brought on the 10th tower site within Washington County to provide us reliable communication. We've been able to enhance communications within Washington County. Well, we've actually been able to expand our communications into the states of West Virginia, the states of Pennsylvania, as well as our bordering counties. A new state-of-the-art mobile command and communication center where we can bring all the agencies or all the individuals responsible for not only the provisions of public safety, but from an environmental standpoint, from a transportation standpoint, that anytime during an incident or during a crisis or during an emergency, we can take on-scene support right to that site. And we can basically provide them with some of the latest technology of broadband, of video, of radio, communi different communications platforms, and take it right to the scene. I look at the recent Clear Spring incident. You know, we look at the severe flooding and the impact that occurred during the Clear Spring incident. We took that five inches of rain in generally a 30 minute period. That incident went on for months. Essentially, the on-scene support management went on to that incident for almost two to three days. From a command structure standpoint, we have to be able to support operations for generally up to anywhere up to 72 hours. Engagement with the public allows us to represent you better. Over the past four years, the county has reached more residents and more businesses than ever before through various channels, including social media. In the citizen engagement realm, we are certainly trying to maximize our infrastructure to help support the needs of our citizens, whether it be the senior center that's well under construction. The neat part about this, this building is that it's first, there's a, there's a few things. The location is exceptional in that it's got access in downtown Hagerstown um, from all points, northeast, west, and south. And also that it's combining a Commission on Aging office space with the facilities, the recreation facilities. And there's individual classrooms, individual fitness rooms, but there's also multi-purpose room that gives it another dimension yet again so with that large space that's there, uh, you can have dining on a, maybe a, um, a dinner occasion, or you can have a large activity that's more of a uh, fitness 
uh, aspect to it. Uh, renovations at our administration building, which uh, will provide a larger, more user-friendly, uh, fully accessible meeting room that holds more of our citizens so that they can access the meetings and be uh, supportive and actually interact with our commissioners uh, that will provide for a better experience and more transparency in government. Uh, we're moving all these things forward so that we can support the needs of our citizens and so that we can maximize the use of the time that we have and provide the services that we know are needed in the community. Another very important E that we have is our employees. Certainly uh, nothing that we accomplish could be done without our biggest asset, which is our employee base. Uh, everything from creation of this State of the County video to the permit handlers to the ones that are plowing your roads are an asset that Washington County is very fortunate to have uh, because of the dedication and skill that uh, we built over the years with our employee base. Uh, they are always there, always available, always ready to do what's necessary to make Washington County work for our citizens. Even in a period of economic downturn when over the past several years, uh, not including public safety, we've had to reduce our employee load through attrition by about 30 people. The ones in those departments have certainly absorbed the extra load, they have worked hard and they've done what was necessary to make Washington County work at a lower cost for our, our citizens. And we're very pleased to be able to have the employees that we have and without them certainly we would not be able to have all the good news that we're able to deliver to you today. Your feedback is needed to move Washington County forward. So connect with us. We want you to get involved. Citizens' participation in local government is essential to progress, so make your voice heard. Join a conversation on social media for the latest news and information, or email us a question or even your ideas at publicaffairs at washco-nd.net.